Yeah, it's a movie. Everyone is Sharonda from Pay or Waits, and today I'm going to be reviewing Doolittle, which is directed by Stephen Gagan, who you may know from directing films such as Gold and Syriana. And this film stars Robert Downey Jr., who plays Dr. Doolittle, and he is embarking on a journey, but he first must overcome his fear of the human connection in order to help save the sickly Queen Victoria, played by the underutilized Jesse Buckley. And that's essentially that's that's the story, you guys. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the Dr. Doolittle books written by Hugh Lofting, um, this is kind of similar to the 1922 The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I tell you what I liked about the film and what I didn't like about the film and should you pay your way to see this film in theaters. So going into what I enjoyed about Doolittle, um, I would have to say like from a human aspect because you know we both have human and animal characters in this film, I really enjoy Michael Sheen and Antonio Banderas. I was just like, you know what, they are having a lot of fun and they are playing some quirky characters, especially Michael Sheen's character. But I was just like, I actually really enjoyed this. I thought that it was, their characters were cute, especially for this to be a kid's film. And they were probably some of my most favorite people to watch on screen. I mean, I will also have to say from a voicing standpoint for the animals, I really enjoy Emma Thompson and also to Craig Robinson. And his character just cracked me up. I'm not going to tell you what animals they play because once you start watching it, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, but especially for Craig Robinson's character or animal, animal character, um, deliver a lot of the last, like most of the last of the whole movie definitely came from the animal that he was voicing. Um, and I would have to say, um, I enjoy Robert Downey Jr. Um, in this film. This will kind of, kind of lead me to a pro into the cons of what I didn't like about this. Um, I enjoy Robert Downing Jr. in the role as Dr. Doolittle. I can see them casting him as his character, kind of the charisma that he brings. He was very charming. He was very quirky um, as this doctor. But one of the things that really took me in and out of this movie the entire time would have to be Robert Downing Jr.'s accent. I was like, sir, I mean, the accent is cool and all, but it's not really meshing with anyone else on screen. I don't know where this accent comes from. Like they really don't explain anything to help me try to figure out why you're speaking the way that you're speaking. Um, and so because of that, it just really took me um, out of his character or really trying to connect with his character in the film. I mean, I think also too, from a voice acting standpoint from the animals, um, a lot of the, a lot of the voicing for the animals, it kind of fell flat for me. And I don't know if there's necessarily to, I can fully put that on, um, the actors voicing these animals or more importantly, the writing of the film. Um, I think that there's so many characters in this movie there's especially a lot of animals um, kind of in all of these scenes. And so no voice really stood out to me really for the most part outside of Emma Thompson and Craig Robinson. And I think that some of the jokes um, that some of the animals are supposed to be making throughout the course of the film, I think it kind of fell flat. A lot of the jokes did not land in the film. Um, a lot of the kids weren't laughing. A lot of the adults definitely weren't laughing. And I don't know if I'm just spoiled because most kids movies now, they know to appeal to both adults and children um, while still having these central themes that everyone can pull from. Um, but for me, the writing was very lazy and very sloppy. Um, there are characters um, that are introduced, especially the um, children, in this film, Harry Collette and also to um, Carmel um, Laniato. I really enjoyed the characters, especially um, Carmel. I loved her character. I was like, yes, okay, little girl, you better slay. But I was like, okay, I can't wait to see what she does in this film. And I was like, hold up, like, where'd she go? Like, I don't see her anymore. She disappeared. Why? Why did we in introduce these characters that we did nothing else with um, for the film? And also, too, there are kind of plot lines um, that are introduced that we never go back and revisit. So I was just like, are we just throwing things happening just for the sake of them happening and moving us from point A to point B? And so for me, it just felt like the story was just messy. It was just a lot happening and a lot of it happening with little to no purpose. Um, and then also too, um, what I would have to say is, um, after I walked out of Doolittle, while I think that young kids will enjoy this film, 
I don't know if necessarily they will really have the attention span to pay attention. Um, when I saw this film, I was in, I was in the theater with a lot of kids. Um, like I said, there weren't a lot of laughs and the kids really didn't seem to focus as much as I've seen them in other films. And so I think for me, while this movie isn't a horrible movie, um, I think that it doesn't really bring anything new to this franchise outside of it kind of sticking closer, um, closer to the books um, than necessarily like what Eddie Murphy's version of Dr. Doolittle, um, that was a more modern twist, you know, on these stories written by Hugh Lofting. And so for me, I just left feeling as though I was just like, I mean, it was, it was decent, but it wasn't trash, but it's a forgettable movie. And I really felt as though I didn't understand why it needed to be made in the first place. Um, so for me, what I would tell you guys to do with you and your coins, it's a wait for me. I just, I didn't have a good time in this film. I was bored. Like there weren't that many laughs that actually landed. And while I enjoy performances from uh, Michael Sheen, Antonio Banderas, and I even enjoy Robert Downey Jr. for the most part outside of his accent, it just wasn't enough to grasp my attention. So yeah, it's going to be a wait for me. But those are pretty much my thoughts on Doolittle. As always, my name is Sharonda from Payer Weights. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that little notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.